What's up everybody? Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is going to be the Blanco Primos Sumatran. Now this is a cigar that I saw reviewed online uh, by another YouTuber, uh, Beer Cigar Beer. Thank you for the, the heads up on this one. I haven't had this one. I haven't even heard of uh, Blanco, but and there's so many cigar companies out there, sometimes you can't keep up with them all. But anyway, let's get into it. This is a Robusto size, a 5x52 stick, and it is Sumatran wrapper, and the binder and filler are both Nicaraguan. Now, for those who sometimes get confused when you'll see cigars marked Sumatran or marked Indonesian, same thing. If you're not a, a geography major, you might not know that, but... Sumatra, Indonesia, same thing. Not not a different place, but that's where that wrapper comes from. It is a mild to medium stick. Uh, you can get a pack of five of these on BlancoCigar.com. Uh, it's uh, roughly 16 bucks, I think, for five, which is a really good deal, especially for something if you haven't tried it. You can see, though, it is a real uh, natural-looking wrapper, a uh, little bit of an oil uh, sheen to it, not much. Uh, the veins are very minimal, and the seams are not real tightly packed, but I mean, you can still, they're pretty close together, and it looks like it might be a double cap. But let's go ahead and we'll get into it. Getting off the cigar, uh, sweet hay, a little bit of a leather, um, very sweet hay, at least to me, profile. I know others have said sweet corn. I'm not getting a sweet corn, but I... I don't ever look for that on a cigar. Let me go ahead and cut the top off. I'm going to use a straight cutter so we can get a good even cut on it. Uh, the cut was a little dry. I did have this in my humidor for about a month uh, before today. So uh, as you can see, when I cut that, cracked a little bit. So that Sumatran wrapper is kind of delicate, especially if it's not like a thick oiliness to it. I don't know if it's dried out in my humidor or if that's just the way they had. I know, noticed all the cigars I had had a little bit of cracking towards the top when I do a straight cut. So you might get away with doing a punch on it. It might be a little bit easier. Or if you do a V cut, it just depends on your preference. Uh, but let's go ahead and... Yeah, that wrapper's going to be a real pain. Yeah, it's coming right off. So we'll just go ahead and ignore that part. The draw is good, getting a little bit of a, a sweet chocolate, like a cocoa, a little bit like a hazelnut, very interesting, but man, so far so good. Let's go ahead and light it up, and today I'll use my trusty torch lighter, get a nice even toasting, we don't want it to be too crazy here, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and... Uh, Make sure we do it this way, and then we'll get some lit up that way. All right, we'll go ahead and get into it. I'll be back with the first third right after this. All right, we're going to get back into the first third here. Got a little bit, let it get, let it get it heated up a little bit. I guess give a real ideas of what's going on here. Definitely a sweet chocolate, a little bit of a caramel in the right on the back of the palate. Uh, no, no pepper at all. So, I was wondering if I get a little bit of that because there was Nicaraguan in there, but I am not noticing any pepper at this point. It is real, uh, real mild, real light cigar. Uh, definitely something you can have uh, after dinner or after you have a big meal of some kind. Uh, something small. Uh, so we'll see how this uh, plays out, and we'll be back with that. Uh, second third welcome back everybody for the second third of our review of the primos classic sumatran by blanco as you can see the ash is holding up pretty good it's starting to get really really flaky now we'll go ahead and knock that off i was just kind of curious how long it would go before it fell off but i don't want to be smoking it and fall in my lap we are getting a real savoriness to the cigar a little bit of a bite With that Nicaraguan, I am starting to notice a little bit of the black pepper. It's not really overpowering. Like I said, it's a mild to medium stick in total. 
And so for me, sometimes the real mild to mediums are just, I don't know, they're not, they're not that they're not, they don't have flavor, it's just the strength to me is just a little too low for my, my standard. Now, it might be perfect for you, and you might like these type. I'm not saying I don't like it, I just, I don't prefer them. But man, we are getting a really good, like I said, uh, burns real good. Almost razor sharp, as you can see when the ash come off. So I gotta say, for five sticks for less than sixteen dollars, man, that's a pretty good stick. We'll smoke a little more of it, then we'll come back with our final third. Welcome back, everybody, for the final third of our review of the Blanco Cigar Primos uh, Robusto Sumatran. I gotta say. I am digging the cigar now as it's finally getting to this final third and it's getting into the final nub of the cigar for a little while it was a real it gave me a pepper blast right on the on the tip of the tongue uh, it did go out I had to relight it and come back to it and when I relit it it was like I'd say I was gone for maybe 15 minutes doing something else and relit it. it was a little bit of a peppery but now it's starting to mellow out which is fine uh, but you can see it is burning just a little off. Well, not a little off, a lot off. But so far, that's all right. It's something you can touch up if you want. I'll, I'll let it go. I think it'll correct itself because it's been pretty good the whole time. But, man, like I said, definitely suggest looking at their website, checking out their cigars. Like I said, uh, maybe with shipping less than $20, you get five cigars. It's a good deal for some Robustos. So we'll check it out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Le uh, like the video, leave your comments, and also subscribe to my channel. We have other cigar stuff out there, cigar reviews, cigar pairings, and other cigar stuff. And I actually have a playlist on there of some other YouTubers that I frequent and watch their cigar reviews as well. So I'll give you a chance to see some of theirs. And have a great day, have a great smoke, and I will catch you next time.